What we're going to be talking about today are the VIED and XID products which install between your O2 sensor and the ECM and act as a fuel enrichment device. And specifically what we're talking about today is once you get them installed on the VIED, the variable inline enrichment device, how do you adjust it? After 11 years of being the largest distributor of the XID products, we're really excited that we are now the manufacturer. As you can see, dkcustom.com right there on the product. This is our first batch that we've manufactured, dkcustom.com. So what we're going to talk about today is the VID. The XID are a fixed this is an XID. It's a fixed change in the AFR. But with a VID, it's a variable inline enrichment device. As you can see here, variable inline enrichment. And there are recommendations on the instructions of what setting to put it with. So if it has an OEM header, and this is for this particular bike, every different VIED for different bikes has different instructions, but on this one, bikes with an OEM header, it's recommended to put the variable adjustment at 50 to 75 percent, which will get you at 14.0 or 13.9 AFR. Bikes without a converter with quiet exhaust, 50 to 75 percent. Bikes without a converter with loud exhaust and is open exhaust, 25 to 50 percent, which will get you at 14.2 to 14.0. These are just suggestions. We have a lot of questions from people that come up all the time on how to you adjust it. And it's real simple, just like you see here on the instructions. At the one all the way to the left is no percent, then 25, and then all these different adjustments up to 50, all these different adjustments up to 75, and then up to 100%. And what you're seeing right here is, I have this all the way at 100 right now, I believe. I do. Okay, now I'm turning it. I'm going to put it all the way to zero right now. Okay, and then this will be at 50%. So people go, well, how do I know where to put it? Well, first of all, the first thing to understand is, you're not going to hurt the bike if you run it at one. You're not going to hurt the bike if you run it at two. You're not going to hurt the bike if you run it at three. What you want to do is you want to run it at the best setting for your, for your bike. And you're going to know when you ride it at the best setting. So let's say that I'm putting this on my um, a Sportster because this particular one is for a Sportster. And let's say that I have no catalytic converter and I have open exhaust. So the suggestion is put it between 25 and 50. Well, between 25 and 50, if I turn this all the way to the left, I'm at zero. Okay? Now, if I turn it that far, I'm at 50% there. And now I'm at 25%. So people ask what to do. Okay, I have a bike without a catalytic converter and open exhaust. The recommendation is 25% to 50%. So I'm at 25 there. I can put it at 25. I can put it at 50 and go ride the bike. What I would do, I would put it at 25. I would then go ride the bike and see how it rode. I would ride it for 15, 20 minutes, see how it rode. I would then pull my side cover off because these are behind the side cover, right? pull the side cover off, and I would move it to 50%. And then I would go for a ride, a 20 or 30 minute ride, and see how it rode. And I go, oh, it ran better at 50 than it did 25. So what you're looking for is you're looking for when you're getting the best throttle response, you're looking to get rid of that hesitation, you're looking to for, and you'll hear the sound too if you have an open exhaust where it sounds the best. 
So you ride it for 20-30 minutes, do a lot of starts, see if it's running better, and run it. At, so then you go, oh, it didn't run as good at 37 as 50. Now I'm going to go and I'm going to put it at 75%. Because even though it says 25 to 50, every bike is different. Your bike might run better at 75%. Your bike might run better at 100%. So just try different adjustments. Ride the bike for 15, 20, 30 minutes. Catalog how it feels. And, and you might end up going, okay, even though the, the instructions say for most bikes without a catalytic converter and with open exhaust, 25 to 50%. But I found out that my bike has the best acceleration and runs the coolest and sounds the best when it's set at 75 set it at 75 you're not going to hurt the bike the bike's 14.7 from the factory if you're lucky sometimes there'll be 15.2 or 15.5 so you're not going to hurt the bike even at the lowest setting you're going to be richer than you are from the factory setting at the highest setting you're still not going to be so rich that you're damaging the bike so just adjust it just by turning this until and ride it until you see where it rides best for you. Now conversely, you can just go by the recommendations. Whatever the recommendations are on the instructions, match it up with what your bike has and then run it that way. It's going to be better than it was with the factory 10. So that is a very cost-effective product, a way to enrich your fuel management. Very easy to adjust. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. It helps us out a lot. Hit that notification bell so you'll be updated when our next video comes out. And you all ride safe out there.